Hey guys, welcome back to another Fitness Foundations for Hypermobility workout. Today's workout is going to be focused entirely around the core. We're going to get very core centric, if you will. And we're going to structure today's workout a little bit differently. This is going to be a workout that you can progress as you get stronger, meaning we are going to start with some very foundational baseline exercises, baseline breath work to get everything kind of activated and primed. And then we are going to progress the difficulty, for lack of better terms, of each of the exercises, starting with the most foundational to more advanced movements. And the cool thing about that is that this is a workout that you can grow with no matter where you are. Whether you're just starting your hypermobile fitness journey, or maybe you've built up a lot of the foundations already and you're looking for something to help you progress. Now, that being said, if you are in that more advanced stage, I still highly encourage you to just treat this workout through, um, through its entirety. Treat this workout as um, something you do from beginning to end regardless, because it's always amazing to come back to foundations and they're always going to support so all you're going to need for today's workout is a um, towel or some sort of like flat support that you can put underneath your back. As always, you are always welcome to use any other supports that you find beneficial to you. Um, and as always, if any of these exercises are making you feel too wonky or not creating the good kind of challenge, maybe feeling a little painful, back off from them today because it just might not mean that these are the exercises for you today. And that's okay. So most of this workout is going to be done flat on our back, so find yourself some space on the floor, on a mat, wherever you are comfortable. And we are going to start with the, uh, excuse me, with the towel, just resting behind our low ribs and into our mid-back. I want this to feel somewhere kind of comfortable for you. Like you just feel it underneath your spine, you feel it underneath those low ribs, but they're not making you feel pushed up in any sort of weird way. So find that space on the floor. And like I mentioned, we are just gonna start with some big inhales and exhales. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling however feels good to you. We're gonna do a few breaths like this just finding yourself grounded on the floor. Finding yourself nice and soft on your mat, on your carpet, wherever you are. Not worrying too much about how the breath is going, but just breathing and settling in. Take a couple more deep inhales and exhales, and then we are gonna start to get a little bit more specific with these breath cues. Alrighty, the next time you inhale through the nose, send your breath towards the back of your rib cage. And then exhale, breathe it out. And we're going to do that again. Inhale into the back of the rib cage. And exhale, breathe it out. And you guys continue to cycle through that breath. And this is why we have the towel at your back. I want to give you guys almost something, a little bit of feedback for you to breathe into. Hopefully, as you take those deep inhales, you're feeling the back of your ribs kind of press into the towel softly because your ribs are expanding back. And then as you exhale, you're just going to let everything melt into the towel softly. And then you inhale and you expand, expanding the backs of the ribs, the sides of the ribs, the front. And then you exhale and just kind of melt softly into the towel. I'm gonna shift my towel a little bit. Let's go for a few more here and then we're gonna add on. Start progressing into a little bit of movement. So 
I am going to take my towel and I'm going to pop it just behind my low back. So nice and settled into that space just above the pelvis where you want that teeny bit of curvature in your low back. We call that neutral pelvis. And you're going to take a big inhale just like you were, sending that breath all the way down to the back of the room, to the sides of the ribs. Now on your exhale, softly engage the front of the abdominals and press your spine down into that towel. And then inhale, release it. And then we repeat, exhale, softly press into the towel. Try to elongate your exhale a little bit. Feel that abdominal work starting to get a little bit active. And then inhale, maybe popping the hands on the low front of your ribs. As you exhale, feel them decompressing softly. I actually find that cue phenomenally helpful. So hopefully you guys do too. And then again, inhale to release. And exhale, feeling everything decompress into the towel, into the mat, finding that little bit of activation through the front of the core. And then inhale to release. Let's go for three more. Hopefully you guys are feeling that bit of activity. I want you guys to be a little careful that you're not super squeezing your butt, all right? Bum might get a little bit active, but for the most part, we want to keep this in the front of the abdominals. Let's go two more. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> this one gets me a little yawning. Be conscious of what your shoulders are doing. Are they getting a little tense? Are you making this come from your neck? Or can you keep the upper body nice and chill? Keep the jaw nice and chill. Let's go one more. Feeling those abdominals get softly active. And then inhale, release, and relax. Beautiful job, guys. All right, now we are going to progress into a little bit more movement for our, to challenge the core. I just went ahead and took out the towel from behind my back because I want to try and do this next sequence just flat on the floor. If the towel is really working for you, keep it there. That's totally fine. When you are ready, take another big inhale. On your exhale, pressing your spine down towards the mat. If you have the towel, it's down to the towel. Once again, be a little conscious of what your shoulders are doing. Once you find that nice active core position, can you maintain it as you inhale? And then maintain it as you exhale. So now we're maintaining this kind of flat, long spine position. And I want you to just feel the front of your abdominals real quick as you maintain this position. Are the fronts of your abdominals popping up like a little, I don't know, like a little triangle? Or can you try and keep them a little bit flatter and connected into the body? If this hold is making your guys' pelvic floor too tight, just go ahead and release it. This might not be the move for you today, and that's okay. But if you're here with me, Let's take an exhale and just float one knee up off the floor. And then on your next breath, float the knee back down. And then exhale to alternate sides. Let's float the opposite knee. Oh my God, that is so much harder. <laughs> and take note of which side maybe feels a little more challenging. If you need the feedback, pop your hands on the bony part of your pelvis. You want to try and keep the pelvis as steady and stable as you can. So if you feel like there's a really big shift or sideways rotation, take a second and rebalance. See if you can keep the back of the sacrum Nice and centered on the floor. 
Let's go for maybe three more. I know I'm doing these very slowly today. You're welcome to add in a little bit more cadence, a little bit more speed if you feel good. But I'm feeling like I want to be very slow and intentional today. <sighs> Keeping the spine flat into the mat until you lower down your foot for the last time. And just let everything relax. Very, very nice job, guys. Alrighty. So we've gotten things a little bit active through the middle core, through the lower abdominals. I would like to try now getting you guys a little bit more active through the upper abdominals. So I am going to take my trusty towel back and I am going to place it pretty flat underneath the back of my rib cage. So this isn't the low rib cage this time. This is just pretty solidly back behind the shoulder blades, behind the ribs. I'm gonna find, yeah, nice like solid position here. It's pretty much right behind my shoulder blades. And what I want you guys to do, this is going to be a flexion series. Flexion meaning we're gonna lift our chest up off the floor. That's not feeling good for your neck or your shoulders. This is not the series for you today and that's totally fine. But basically what you're gonna do here is take your right hand behind your head. You're going to float your left arm up towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, you are going to press the back of your ribs into the mat. You're going to softly and slowly float your heart up off the mat. Continue to press down into the towel and very softly lean towards your left thigh. So let's do that again, guys. Right hand is behind the head, left hand is long and lengthy. On your next exhale, press the back of your ribs into the mat to float your heart up. Very softly leaning towards that left thigh. So it's a little teeny rotation here. And then inhale back down. And we're gonna cycle through this a few more times. And in an ideal world here, guys, you are feeling these upper abdominals get a little bit active. I want you to be really conscious that you are in fact moving through your chest, not just yanking up your head, all right? Almost just let your head be heavy into that supporting hand. And inhale back down. Maybe two more here. We're gonna keep it nice and soft and easy. You guys can really go at your own pace. Ooh, this is one of those movements that makes me shake a little bit. <laughs> I have over time had a very difficult time getting these kind of serratus, intercostal, upper abdominal muscles active. I'm gonna do one more just because it's starting to feel really good. So this has been a very helpful series for me. And lower back down and go ahead. Let's start switching sides. Take before we switch sides, just take a moment to see like my left half feels so much more connected to the floor right now. So I think if we do this other side, we're gonna be able to even ourselves out. All right, left hand behind your head, right arm just softly lengthens to the ceiling. It's really just here as a placeholder. Take a big in breath and on your out breath, Float your heart up very slightly, leaning towards the right side. Oh my goodness, this side is so much harder. Inhale, lower back down. And again, exhale. You will notice here, guys, that I'm not making this a massive movement, all right? I'm not going for height. Don't worry about height. Height will come with time. Oh. Try to press down into that towel, into the mat, and breathe. Yeah, this side is making me so shaky. I'm gonna go for maybe three more. I did kind of lose count. You guys know I'm really good at doing that. <laughs> Once again, make sure we're not getting too grippy in the front of your neck. Let your head rest into your hand. Let your hand support you. Got a little bit more height on that one. We're gonna go, I'll say one more. I'm really proud of keeping track of these. 
Lower back down. Beautiful, beautiful job, guys. All right, give yourself a little shimmy, a little recentering wiggle, because now we have gone through the left side, we have gone through the right side, of course, we have got to go center. So you are once again going to take your hands to the back of your head. If your shoulders are not very stable like mine, let the elbows stay slightly forward of the eyes, all right? We don't need you all the way out here. You can keep the elbows slightly forward so that you can keep the shoulders a little more stable. Same exact ser excuse me, series here, but you are just going to go straight forward. Take a big inhale. On your exhale, float your heart up, track your eyes towards your thighs, pressing your spine down into the mat. Oh my goodness, do you hear the shakes in my voice? <laughs> inhale, because I definitely have shakes in my abs. Let's go again. Inhale the prep. Exhale. <sighs> Floating your heart up. It doesn't have to be big to be effective here, guys. We're just going for activation. Inhale into the back of the ribs, just like we practiced. And then exhale. <sighs> decompressing the ribs, decompressing the spine. I'm just going to go for three more because this is really hard today. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Two more. Inhale. One more. Lower back down. And relax. Beautiful, beautiful job, guys. All right. So that is kind of the first part of this sequence. I want to give you one more advanced exercise. This is only for people who really feel ready for it and all of those kind of other activation sequences felt really good and strong. You can join me here. Hands are going to come right back behind your head. We're going to utilize that strong deep breath. Inhale. Exhale to flatten the spine down towards the mat one knee at a time, is going to come up to tabletop. If you've ever taken a Pilates class, this probably feels pretty familiar. You're going to maintain this really strong position. If this is feeling like enough for you, just stay here for a few breaths. If you would like to progress the challenge, take an inhale. And exhale, float, <laughs> float your heart up. And inhale, and once again, we want to be really cognizant that we're moving from the rib cage, pressing the backs of the ribs into the mat. I probably have two more in me. Exhale. <sighs> inhale, I've got one more, and then I'm done. <sighs> Woo, if you want to keep going, give me four more. If you are done, and join me down here on the mat. So what helped me determine that I was done? First of all, just lifting the knees to tabletop felt very challenging. It felt like shaky, it felt good. It felt like I was engaged, but not like I was dying. The chest lift series, I got through the first two, the first three, by the third, I was like, oh, there's my back in a kind of not so great sore way. So I was like, let's see what happens if we do one more. I felt it again. And that is my four was enough for me. So I am not here to push through the pain with you guys. We are here to kind of figure out and navigate where our bodies are feeling really strong, where we can challenge, and then where we're back out. So go ahead and roll yourself up to seated. Take your time because that was a full, what we call supine class, flat on your back. And just see how you feel. I feel it worked, <laughs> but that felt good, and I feel um, very active and just like tall. I gotta be honest with you, I've been having like just very long days of laptop work where like by the end of the day, I literally feel myself just like sitting here. The other day I was talking to my husband like this, and I was like, oh my god, this is not okay, and I was just really inactive here. So that was one of the reasons I actually wanted to teach this class was because I feel like I'm probably not the only one in that situation. But anyway, I'm just babbling at this point. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the class. Like I said, this can be a really cool kind of progressive series. Um, but going back with foundations, as we know from this whole module program, um, is always beneficial and always important. So never forget your foundations, and I will see you guys in the next video.